Hello everyone and welcome back to Steve's How To. Today I'm going to show you how to upload, transfer our website that we just are going to create to our web host server via file transfer protocol. So let's open up our favorite website builder, the one we're going to use, and we're going to go up here to file and we're going to make up a new website from a template just to make it easier. Okay, our template window is open up here, so we've got to select a template. So we're going to go through here and pick something that we can use. Oh, look at that. Let's, let's grab that one there because we're going to do something with our used or our classic cars. So let's call this example number seven. Okay, so here we are. So we're going to make a couple changes, take a couple things out. We're going to change this here to Steve's Classic Cars. And there's another title behind there, so we're going to delete that. We're going to put that back up here. Now we're going to take these out, and what we put in here, we're going to put a couple pictures from the image tool over here of some classic cars. So we're going to go over to our classic car folder, pick one, and we're just going to grab one more here, because we're going to make up a photo album afterwards as well. So we can change the size of it back and forth. We can also double click it and put a border around it if you like. Okay, so let's uh, do this one here as well, really quickly. Okay, so maybe change the size of it a bit here. And our newest, newest product. So we're going to take this and we're going to call it Steve's Classic Cars or whatever you want to call it there. All right. So we move this back here where it belongs. Let's go and do a really quick preview of it and see what it looks like. And voila! Looks not too shabby. So let's go back to our builder. A little small. Let's just increase this up to around 980. We can actually bring up our web page a little bit bigger. This isn't too bad. Some of them are more of a bugger to do. Okay, so here we are, and if we want to make it bigger down here, we can do that as well. Move our little copyright thing here, and we can do that, and just move that little window down here. Okay, so here we are. So from here, what do we want to do? Well, we can double-click that, put some writing in there, double-click that, change the heading, And we can do whatever we want. We can put all kinds of different tools in. We can fix this. We can change this. We can do all kinds of neat and exciting things with our website on this builder. Okay, but right now we're going to teach you how to make a couple different pages so we can upload them to our server via file transfer protocol. Over here is our publish button we need to use. So let's take this little, these little tools out here little menu they have here. We can You can make it your own menu. You can do whatever you want. I prefer to bring one in. Then it's, it's a little bit more organized. So we're going to double click that. We're going to do vertical. We're going to change our color to maybe a reddish color and our Hoover color to maybe this here. And horizontal I should say. Now, that looks a little bit more neater. Now we want to have a couple pages and so the first page we're going to do, we're going to edit this one, we're going to change it to just make it whatever you want. We'll just make it page one and this one here we're going to make it page two and this one here because we want to show off all of our classic cars we're going to make it images or pics or whatever you want to choose. 
Okay, so and then we got the button four, so we're just going to remove that. But then again, we need to put a home button on there. So let's just add home. Okay, and we're going to move this up a bit. Perfect. Okay, so there is our quick menu we're going to do. There's our title. We're going to put all of our information in there. We can put a video in there if you want of cars. You can put uh, a sign-up sheet where they can sign up. They can contact you. You can make a form. You can put our donation button on there if you want. You can do all kinds of sort, all kinds of neat and exciting things on this. Okay, so for now we're going to clone this page, and we're going to make three more pages up. So one, two, three, and we're going to name this page. page one and this one's already page two and this one here we're going to rename it it was already page one but with this one we're going to name it images okay so we have our home index is our home page one page two page three and actually there we are perfect okay so from here we are going to link all of the this menu to our pages so we're going to go home we're going to go edit we're going to go select and we're going to go index which is our home page then page one select page one okay and page two select now page two and our images remember this button right here this we can actually link it to an external page, internal page, email address, file, or smart link. And we're going to do internal page. Perfect. Okay, so there is our link of our first page. Now all these other ones we have to do the same thing too, or we can just copy this whole menu, delete this. Now all the links are in there already so let's go to our another page here it saves a little bit a lot a lot of time by instead of going into every single one and linking them just do the master page and copy it to the rest of the pages okay so in page one we're gonna go over here we're gonna go and call this page one and page two we're gonna go over here and call this page two and images we're going to call this our picks okay so in our picks we're going to actually put a image gallery in here so going into builder extensions grab the photo album we're going to bring it in like this make it a little bigger make our website a little bit bigger on the bottom here Break this down. And there's all kinds of things you can do with it. Okay, so there's our image gallery. And let's add our cars in here. Just grab all of them, open up. We're going to change the look of the actual background and make it a little bit more cooler. I don't know. Let's call. Let's go with lime. You can change the title page of it. Spell right here. Okay. And there we have it. So then you can do all kinds of other things with this. So that's all we're going to do right now because I want to show you how to upload it to our server. So we're going to go file, save our website. And we're going to preview the whole website before we take the time to upload it to our server. So this is our main pit. This is our, not our main pit. This is our main page, Steve's Classic Cars. So we're going to go to page one. Okay, we're going to go to page two, and we're going to go to our images. And in here is our image gallery, but again, it does not show until you upload the pictures to the server, and then it will show there. So, all right, so let's go into our server account. 
Okay, so first of all, before we do that, I want to go into the Explorer here and type in www.easymakeasite.com and as you can see, there's nothing there. Okay. Okay, so let's go into my GoDaddy hosting account. Hit your web hosting. I'll launch that. And once you're on your hosting account, you go into settings, manage FTP users, scroll down, and you can add a U FTP user, username, password, the web site or domain, you save it, and that's it. So let's go into our this is our easy make a site that we did so that's done it's already been set up through GoDaddy the next thing we need to do is make a connection between what you see is what you get to GoDaddy so if you go into your published website you can add from here you can go FTP server you just put a description on there easy make a site you're gonna put the URL which is www.easymakesite.com then the host which was going to be the IP address so you can get your host P server or your GoDaddy server so once you go onto the GoDaddy and you hit FTP users you'll see your your web address and mine 72.167.1.128 is GoDaddy's e address as you can see right here okay so username is the username you put on for your FTP password is your password and you don't touch anything else on here you press OK and you can also do a test a handshake test to see if it actually works so you can actually publish selected page only or the entire web page so I'm gonna go and publish the whole web page so now it's generating the file and right now what it's doing is uploading our newly created classic car website to my server at GoDaddy via file transfer protocol very easily I'm just gonna pause the video until it's done it doesn't take too long normally the um, address for your server you just go in here and there it is right there it's very very easy to upload anything to GoDaddy especially from what you see is what you get okay so successfully published so that's done so let's go into our web browser where it was forbidden there was nothing there www.easymakeasite.com let's refresh that okay we're gonna hit refresh again here and there we have it there is our website at www.easymakeasite.com there is the one we just made so that was very quick very simple there's our home there's our page one our page two and our image gallery with our pictures on it look at that so if we want to go back home we just hit hit that so this is to go through it really quickly with you guys or girls you create a website on your web builder you link your web builder to your host through file transfer protocol very simple to do you upload it once you're uploading it once it's done upload it you can go to your domain name and your website address and it should be there and you can do the whole website or you can do one page at a time so thanks for watching my video and please visit visit me at www.stevesowto.com or email me at stevesowto at hotmail.com thank you